the Nigerian genius. My name is Udo Success If My name is Samson Hekagem Kose Mojum. My name is Mwane Rifan Vincent. I are a student from Federal University of Tweke, Bayasa State. Uh, the morning brain I was it was fine. We had to put balloons beside ourselves, shoulder level, and walk, walk together simultaneously. The balloon shouldn't get bust, it shouldn't fall. If not, we'll be disqualified. And the distance was around five meters. We we'll do something that focuses more on team building, on strategic planning, and on coordination. Having said that, today's tax is the balloon shoulder walk. Your first task is to inflate it to the best um, size that you think would be good to do what you're about to do. The balloons have to be between your shoulders and you walk a, dis a distance of 5 meters. So there's a start point and an end point. The winner will be those that move from the start point to the end point at the least possible time so today we'll be using a stopwatch and if the balloon falls or bursts that's the end for the team right. although we didn't leave it happy because we we finished the list but we we had to cheer ourselves up and look at the better picture of it it was all about virtue all about having to work with ourselves this morning he briefed us on our main aim of being here and reminded us that we just have a few days. It means in the next eight days our progress should be made at any point. And then he tried getting feedback of our progress so far. What is most important for us is that you are learning, that we are training you, and that you are able to communicate to the viewers nationwide what you learn. It's not an exam. You just ensure that you learn. So when you are in a class, ensure you pay attention to what the trainer is you know, delivering. Ensure that you understand. There you don't understand, ask questions. And then when you come in the morning, you share with the world and the viewers what you've learned. One of the goals of the Nigerian genius is to draw the whole nation towards engineering as a critical component of national development. So we wish you all the best as you continue in this noble course of solving Nigeria's toughest engineering and manufacturing challenges. Good luck. Thank you. So far, the Monday down to today, June Thursday, we acquired several skills that have set us apart and prepared our minds achieving this challenge, which means in the next couple of days, presenting our projects and we hope to be victorious with that. Our very background is basically on um, fabrication and other because we, we have done several projects on um, prototype vehicles, small prototype vehicles. Currently, our final project is on a self-driving car. So most of these projects, we start fabricating right from our 200 level. So most of these projects give us that experience and that workflow. When we fabricate, we are like, there's a synergistic energy around where we work together. So it has always been teamwork. You have to support the other guy in the team. So the team has to win. So that's just it. Teamwork, team spirit. We can't stand him enough. Yes, we can't, we can't thank them enough. Apart from coming from a school whereby we have mechanical engines and the nationalist police, fabrication and all that, it has been our dreams to integrate computer aided manufacturing. And we've longed for the place where we can acquire these skills. Honestly, we can't even pay for it as students. So having an opportunity to be in this place where we are being taught by industrial experts, and within the space of four days, we can showcase our skills. We are indeed grateful. We can't thank them enough. Yeah. And we really have to say thank you 